Subarus. Watch this. Another Zuberifically exciting adventure. It's perfect. Are you impressed? Of course you are. Come along with us to Zuberly Zoo. Zuberly Zoo. Magic and wonder are waiting for you. It's as close as a dream and as bright as the brightest blue. Welcome to Zuberly The to you. I'm Mayor Ben. I'm here to lend a helping hand. I'm Phil the Beaver. I'm the Big Song Command. There's daring and adventure when lookout comes to call. And a kangaroo named Woodland who puts music to it all. My name is Ben Go. Just color me fun. And you will shout bravo once the show has begun. <laughs> Zubilee Zoo is a new kind of children's programming designed to encourage youngsters to explore their own creativity and imagination. This innovative show combines singing, dancing, and comedy in a daily half hour of fun. A one, two, three, a four, five, six. A zoo is full of magical tricks. The people behind the scenes of Zubilee Zoo are leaders in the field of entertainment. They produce the only kind of show they know how, the very best. Co-executive producer Steve Bender is an Emmy Award winner for his primetime variety specials. The number one goal of Zubilee Zoo is to entertain. If we can give them a spoonful of sugar and educate them throughout the entertainment message, we've accomplished a great, great deal. Co-executive producer Andy Hayward has produced over 600 half-hour shows, especially for children. There really is nothing out there like this. The the theme of the show is to foster a sense of creativity and discovery in kids. And I don't think there's any other show on that's doing that now. It has singing, it has dancing, original music in every show, Emmy Award winning talent, Broadway stars. The creative minds at Hallmark Properties originated the concept of Zubilee Zoo. A year and a half of development went into the characters, designs, and stories. Zubilee Zoo has been a process of evolvement. We knew that we wanted this program to be about creativity. We went through a lot of thinking on what type of programming it should be, what the characters should look like. It's a marvelous place, and each character has his or her own little piece of Zubilee Zoo. The result is a unique visual world that invites children to participate. Each character represents an area of creative expression. Zubilee Zoo is an imaginary land that is inhabited by seven Zubals. Mayor Ben, Ben Vereen, is the head Zubal. Hi, Zubaroos. We have What's It Kangaroo. She embodies the, the musical and dance aspects of the arts. We have Bravo Fox, the theater. No lights over here, thank you. Builder Beaver, who is the builder and inventor. Lookout Bear, the adventurer, traveler. Uh, Talkatoo Cockatoo who is the philosopher and the writer. I'm using my imagination. Van Gogh Lion, who's the painter, the sculptor. It can be perfect if it comes from you. Every member of the talented Zubilee Zoo Ensemble cast enriches their portrayals with special skills, like juggling and mime. Emmy and Tony Award winner Ben Vereen brings his incomparable showmanship. I love my work. I give forth everything I can because the people who are watching the show should receive it all. So we give forth all we can to say we appreciate it. And here's a little bonus, you know? Life is an adventure. Life is an adventure and you're learning every day. Learning every day, learning every day. It's very important 
that we are in communication with, with the people who deal with the minds of children so that we don't overshoot and we don't undershoot and we're talking directly to them. We brought in a group of educators and consultants that are highly respected in their field and that have given us input the whole way along. The panel of child development experts involved in the concept continue to scrutinize scripts to make sure the stories, language, and themes will enrich preschoolers. There's the opportunity for Zubilee Zoo in the way that no other children's television program has done to gain the support of early childhood educators. Each of our stories, we have uh, social values that are encompassed, uh, moral values, and of course, overall creative values, so that we really hit underlying foundations for the children but it's all wrapped in an, an entertainment envelope and the child is going to love seeing it co-executive producer steve bender brought together a top production team their expertise is reflected in the sets costumes and the state-of-the-art special effects we live in an age where to make a show interesting and to capture the imagination of uh, a child have them sit long enough to pay attention, you have to give them a visual splendor of uh, choices. On Zoobly Zoo, we would like to show people that special effects aren't really the private domain of multi-million dollar theatrical productions. So we're really pulling out all the stops. The primary focus of Zoobly Zoo is to entertain, and we'd like to make it as razzle-dazzle um, for the Zoobles at home as we can. The show's staff considers the visuals as an enhancement to the stories, which will address values important to youngsters, like sharing, friendship, and self-esteem. Oh, Wally, dear. It took courage and determination to do what you did. Thanks, Takatu, but I couldn't have done it without all of you. Oh, well, perhaps not, my dear, but one thing is for sure. Tonight, a star is born. <laughs> I don't think if we had all the special effects in the world, we had all the color in the world and the great scenery, I don't think we'd have a winning show without the script and the actors that worked first. Young can be nothing but fun. <laughs> shall I hop, shall I skip, shall I run? I see article after article that lets upgrade children's programming, you know, what are we teaching our children and so forth in uh, Saturday morning television as an example it's okay to blow up somebody as long as that person gets up off the floor and walks away. Well, to me, blowing up a person is the wrong signal. There will be no violence uh, in Zubilee Zoo. It's the kind of, of entertainment that mothers, fathers want for their children, as well as programming that the children themselves will enjoy. They're going to be singing and dancing with our characters. They are going to be interacting with that television set and with Ben and with the different characters that come across. More than anything, I'm hoping they say, wow, we want to turn the show on because it's fun to watch it and we're being entertained. <laughs>